Welcome friends and family, meet Juniper. This is my 2001 Jeep Wrangler Sport. She has the 4.0 inline six and a five speed manual. It came with half doors with upper hard halves and a two piece hard top. I really like that hard top there. It allows me to take that uh, forward section off with just by myself, whereas that rear section is definitely a two-man lift to remove that. Back here, we have my Overland trailer I'm building. This is based on a 1972 Dotson pickup that back in 99 someone chopped up and turned into a trailer. And it was not like this when I bought it. When I bought it, it had no lights. It was uh, painted blue. The leaf springs were mismatched. Those were not the tires that were on it. So I put new leaf springs. Well, they came out of an old Nissan pickup. Put new wheels and tires, including the spare. Wired up the lights. Painted it all black to match Juniper. And put the tongue jack on right there. Now, I originally had planned to do this video here down by the river, by the Fountain Creek. Unfortunately, winter storm Uri, the snow just melted from her, and that mud over there is pure slime, and I would absolutely get stuck trying to come back up. You can't see it, but there's a very steep slope down there, down to the creek. I would absolutely get stuck trying to go down that. So, this is on the other side. Now my state doesn't require these side markers, but they came with the light kit, so I put them on anyway. Um, I've got four brake lights here. Those two up top are magnetically mounted, and I can take those off. I wired in the plug so I can remove them, put them away if I don't want them. And down here I have permanently mounted rear tech, rear lights. And then there's a LED light right there above the license plate. Get that illuminated and keep it legal. Um, this Jeep did not come with a hitch when I bought it, so my dad and I installed that. That was, that was a pain. On the left side, one of the bolts for the tow hook that we had to remove was stuck inside the frame rail. We just couldn't get out, so we ended up find it cutting it with a sawzall. I put some uh, running BF Goodrich KO2s. These are on 31 inch tires, this Jeep has no lift. I like the stock height, so I really like that. Um, these are really good tires, especially here in Colorado. They're snow rated, so they are good to take up in the mountains during a snowstorm. But they still got a lot of tread for situations like uh, over there in that swamp. It would get the Jeep out with that getting stuck. It wasn't fun though. Up front here, got a 5,000 pound winch I got from Harbor Freight. Got that for 80 bucks off, only $120. Uh, my dad and I fabricated this bracket here to mount it. So all in all, in that winch, got about 200 bucks. 5,000 pound winch. The curb weight on this vehicle is 3,300 pounds. So that more than covers this vehicle. The tr it's only rated to tow 2,000, so at the very limit, that trailer would weigh 2,000 pounds. So that would be going over the weight of the weight range of the winch a little bit. But I also have a uh, snatch block in the back. I can uh, I can uh, double it back on itself and increase the point power at 10,000 pounds. But really, that winch there is just to get her out. I would not take really pulling a big truck out of a ditch or something, I'm just going to snatch them out. That winch ain't really powerful enough to do to pull a big, like, F-350 out. Alright, here's a view under the hood. This once again has the 4-liter, 6-cylinder engine in it. Um, over here we have our air box. That's where our air goes in. These are the cables that ran for the winch. Here's a fuse box. That's the top of your uh, valve cover. Here we have our throttle body. 
radiator, brake booster, washer reservoir, coolant reservoir, alternator. Really, it's a very simple engine, which I like. It makes it easier to work on than most of the modern cars you see. And there's just not a lot of frills here, not a lot of plastic covering things up. Everything's just open. You can get at it, fix what you need to fix, and keep her on the road. All right, this is the view from the driver's seat. You see, here we have steering wheel, gauge cluster, shifter, parking brake, four-wheel drive selector, goes in the transfer case, and here I have a magnet to hold a pistol. Now that magnet, that, it could be stronger. I don't trust that when I'm off-roading. My 1911 tends to fall off, so I tend to tuck the 1911 down here between the seat and the starting console. I'm in rough terrain. Here, this is my uh, FM transmitter. This connects to my phone via Bluetooth so I can play music over the radio. Here's where I mount my phone. This is a steely ball mount. Just clamps around my phone. I use it for maps, music. Here we have a charging cable for my phone. Here we have a dash cam, which you saw some footage from earlier. Oh no! It's a relatively simple interior. There's not a lot of frills in here. It does not have cruise control. It has airbags, no ABS. Back here in the rear, where I keep all my gear, um, I have snow chains down in there and, the, and some uh, weatherproof jacket and pants so when I'm laying down in the snow, I don't get my clothes all soaked. Here I have a recovery kit. I got some uh, jumper cables, snap straps, a uh, snap block, uh, D-rings in there. Here I have a survival kit. I got an MRE, some water, some spare clothes. It's a blanket, just an old wool blanket in case you get stuck in the snow. Got a pair of boots on either side. Over here, I have my first aid kits. This is just a generic first aid kit for cuts and scrapes. This one down here is for trauma. So here I have a tourniquet and Israeli bandage and some other, some combat gauze and some other stuff. Here is my D-ring hitch. When I don't have a trailer hooked up, I have this on the receiver. That gives me a nice place to pull from on the rear of the Jeep. In case I'm stuck or if I need to get somebody else unstuck. Up here I have my scraper tool and brush for getting the snow off of her. Here I've got a shovel for digging myself out, and a fire extinguisher. You see those orange ties over the roll cage? Those are for an improvised rifle rack. I can put my AR up there and cinch those down tight and keep it up there on the roll bar. 